One of the ideas that marketing relies on is that if we can change your attitude, then we can change your behaviour. But is this actually the case? Do attitudes actually influence behaviour? Well, in 1934, Richard LaPierre set out to test whether attitudes were related to behaviour. He had the opportunity to travel with a young Chinese student and the student's wife over a period of two years. Together, they visited 251 hotels, auto camps, and tourist homes across the United States of America. Now, it's worth noting that LaPierre wasn't expecting a particularly positive response. He'd done some previous studies of what Americans thought about Chinese people, and their attitudes were not that positive. Remember, this was the 1930s, which is not an excuse, but it gives you some context for LaPierre's observations. Before I tell you any more about LaPierre's study, I want to ask you to guess what happened when he and his travelling companions turned up and asked to be served. The first question that I want you to answer is, what percentage of places do you think actually served them when they turned up? Now, before I ask you the next question, I need to tell you that six months later, LaPierre got in touch with all of the places they'd visited. He didn't say he'd been there before. Instead, he said he was travelling with two Chinese companions and he wanted to know if they could come and visit. So, the second question is, what percentage of places do you think said they would serve them 